हेलो फ्रेंड्स इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन कंटिन्यूशन टू माय प्रीवियस वीडियो कैस्केडिंग अप्रूवल एंड अप्रूवल प्रोसेस इन पेगा इन माय लास्ट वीडियो आई हैव एक्सप्लेन अबाउट द कैस्केडिंग अप्रूवल प्रोसेस द अप्रूवल इज बेस्ड ऑन द रिपोर्टिंग स्ट्रक्चर इन द रिपोर्टिंग स्ट्रक्चर इज ऑल्सो आई हैव एक्सप्लेन अबाउट दी रिपोर्टिंग मैनेजर इन द रिपोर्टिंग मैनेजर वी हैव सीन वी हैव सीन दी levels of approval one level of approval and all levels of approval and custom now in this video and if you want you can add update a custom levels you can add uh, n number of n number of levels okay so that's it this is cascading approval based on the reporting structure in the we have a one more option call it as a authority matrix now here in this video i am i mean in this video i continuation to my previous video i am explain about the authority matrix so authority matrix is also a multi level approvals authority matrix is also a multi level or multiple approvals but uh, that approval is based on the decision table that approval is based on the decision table so let me tell you similarly how i have implemented how i have implemented in the reporting structure in the reporting structure approval level is one all custom here i mentioned like this similarly in the authority matrix also in the authority matrix also if the loan amount is less than 5k that if the loan amount is less than 5k one person should be required if the loan amount is greater than 5k multiple persons are required to approve the loan request multiple persons are required so that's why here the page list property page list property contains a list of list of approvers either one approver or more than one approvers based on the condition one approver or more than one approver based on the condition okay now what i am going to do the page list property i have already one page list property approvers loan approvers i have already one page list property loan approvers this page list property always contains a list of pages everyone knows that and why this page list property here because in the previous also we have seen the multiple approvers right in the cascading approval there is a reporting structure we have seen the multiple approvers similarly here also the page list property contains a multiple approvers that might be one approver or more than approver depends on the condition depends on the condition so let's open this page list property loan approvers i have already created this one i have already created this uh, loan approvers see this one page list property in the work car loan class itself the page list definition is data admin operator id why because the approvers list who is the approver in our case operator only right that's why i added a data admin operator id now come back to another property approver property approver property always in this loan approvers page list what is the approver property approver property is py user identifier py user identifier py user identifier because that uh, this operator contains approver operator id this property contains approver id that's why this property contains approver id that's why i have selected py user identifier so try to understand this page list property contains a loan approvers i have created this loan approvers is a page list property and approver property in the page list is py user identifier py user identifier is nothing but operator id now the important is decision table now let's create a decision table so route approvers route to approvers this is also i have already created if you want you can create a new one as well now just click on route to approvers the moment uh, once you created a decision table first you have to select the option is you have to select the option is 
in the results evaluate all rows evaluate all rows usually in the decision table if the first row is true this is a nested if else right if the first first condition is true then the remaining conditions won't be checked if the first condition is not satisfied then it will go to the next else if if that is not satisfied next will go to the else if like this if the first condition is satisfied i mean wherever the condition is satisfied it will not wherever the condition is satisfied it will not go to the next level it will not go to the next condition so control is exit control is exit but here evaluate all rows means uh, if the first condition is true also it will go to the next condition also it will go to the next condition like that okay so in the interview point of view also sometimes they will ask you how do you return a multiple values from the decision table the first option you have to do is evaluate all rows evaluate all rows now table now table here conditions in the conditions column i have selected the loan amount what happened the property name is loan amount okay property name is loan amount if the loan amount is greater than the moment when you select the results evaluate all rows here the if becomes a when if becomes a when this is more or less like a sing, cascading approval of the reporting structure all levels right like that only more or more or less if the loan amount greater than 5000 the return value is reviewer so if the loan amount is greater than 5000 also the loan approver is approver because i have selected i have selected evaluate all rows right that why if this condition is satisfied okay the return value reviewer again it will come to the next row here if this condition is satisfied the, now the return value is approver if this condition is satisfied it will return this value here that's why multiple return values multiple return values here if the loan amount is less than 5000 only one value if the loan amount is greater than 5000 here multiple values reviewer and approver so that means uh, these two values must be appending to the page list property which we have created which we have which we have created this is the loan approvers right in the loan approvers py user identifier see just double click on this actions now that value is property dot loan approvers that is a page list append to which property this value is going to be set py user identifier py user identifier like this we are appending the multiple values to the page list of a decision table when we select evaluate all rows when we select evaluate all rows here just this is a label and use default value in new rows only use default value for example if you want to you can set default value also that a default value would be set to the new rows are all cells by default or blank cells for example if you want to set a default value for some blank columns some blank cells then you can use this setting or by default if you want to set the de default value to the new rows only then you can set it or all cells you can set it but here we are not using now you understand i am appending the return values to this page list property and this page list also which property to which property i am setting that value py user identifier now that means this reviewer and approver operator ids are setting to by user identifier of the page list property loan approvers that's it i have created this is the page list now come back to your car loan just click on save this is authority matrix just click on save now run the case now run the case now go to the log of now for your understanding purpose for your understanding purpose uh, i will change this to just check out if the loan amount is greater than 5000 
If the loan amount is greater than five thousand, uh, I want to return. If the loan amount is greater than five thousand here, now the loan approver is. W manager, W manager. That means if the loan amount is less than five thousand, only reviewer. But if the loan amount is greater than five thousand, three people would be approved. The approvals required from the three people. We will see that. Check in. This is multiple values written from the decision table. now log off now before that also just refresh just refresh your car loan case uh, i know people bit feel difficulty to going through yeah, to going through these videos of these many hours but my intention is i want to explain end to end with multiple options even if you can see my previous videos also like that only because some people may aware of some people may not be aware of the complete uh, process that's why my intention is that please bear with me okay i'm just log off i'm going to create a new case customer now i'm going to create a customer create car loan now the loan amount uh, i am giving uh, 6700 submit now c31014 now first go to the reviewer anyhow if you want you can go to the reviewer or approver or or w manager but that is also hierarchy now hierarchy in the sense of, now let's see just open this who is first greater than 5000 reviewer now w manager now approver you, you can just log in with uh, approver the assignment is routed to this work list or not we will see or it is following that page list index property or not because that order c31014 right not 13 i guess let's log off and try with the uh, reviewer see now the first person is always reviewer because the order page list order 31014 now open this now approved now log off now let's try with approver this time at least no still it will go to the who is the next level approval w manager right that is the uh, page list contains the page in the page list order the next person is w manager see reviewer w manager and approver when the loan amount is greater than 5000 C three one zero one four. Now click on go.
now once this person is approved it will go to the it will go to the next person who is that last person approved approver okay so like this uh, authority matrix will be implemented like this authority matrix will work out okay and you can try for another operator i think it will be slow uh, once it is approved next assignment go to the who is the next person approver right now once this is approved it will go to the approvers just log off and let me okay so this is the uh, the whole process of uh, cascading approval reporting structure and authority matrix uh, i just made a different video continuation to the my previous video and what are the pending options here here approval or rejection and if you want you can add another process here when the case is rejected the control jumps to the next stage control jumps to the next stage uh, change stage right there if you want you can mention approval or rejection approval or rejection and you can customize that section as well this i'll show you in the in the loan creation you can customize that section as well there is approval section is there approval section is there right and you can customize that section whatever the user interface if you want to keep it also you can keep it there and you can change to the if the uh, if it is success i mean if it is approved if you want to go to the next stage you can go to the next stage if it is rejected uh, you can go to the next stage as well and if you want you can configure that stage also there and this uh, uh, thank you